Florida time on Sunday football, and the Sydney Swans lead it by 15. We've got a couple of ball magnets this afternoon too. Nick Malcheski to quarter time has had 10 possessions, and so too his teammate Jared McVeigh. Magnets both. So they've had a fair bit more of the ball, the Swans, in that opening term, but scoring shots the same, Lee, at 1 6 4 3. Just didn't take theirs, the Suns, did they? No, they defended pretty well, the Suns, when they, yeah, because they were under siege a little bit. The big defenders were certainly good, and yeah, their inaccuracy early has really, uh, really been uh, costly given that they could have probably just about been on equal terms. Let's go down to Jude Bolton, who's with John Longmire. John, you must be pretty pleased with the opening stanza. Yeah, it was all right, Jude. Um, you know, we knew that they're a really good starting team and uh, they were coming out full of intensity, so we had to match that and give a bit ball, more back. Uh, certainly a bit of rebound off both from both sides for, uh, out of half back. Yeah, I mean, the times they're playing an extra back and we've got to be mindful of that and maybe clean up our entries going forward a little bit. But, um, you know, we've got to make sure we use the ball well through the midfield. And will we see the uh, Ablett Kennedy matchup at all? Uh, probably unlikely, I reckon, Jude. <laughs> Understand. Talking about plenty of possession for some players out there, Lee, but one player hasn't had one possession. That's Kurt Tippett. No, uh, certainly Thompson's done a good job on that. He hasn't been, no, he's been in two or three contests, I guess. And uh, But the, the big dot, that's the one plus the, for the for the Suns that uh, May's done well one-on-one -on, -one on Franklin and Thompson's done the same on Tippett. So at the moment, that's not looking to be the uh, the danger area, although we know Franklin's grand, grand level ability is the, the, the other string to his bow. Uh, but that uh, I'd be very surprised if Abbott's not in the centre square to start this game. He is. It's one thing to start playing him in the forward line to try and throw the opposition off. But uh, I think they're going to need his ball getting and his creativity around the middle today to give their forwards enough chances. 4-3 to 1-6. The 1-6 tells the story. The Suns wasting some opportunities as we start the second term. Smith does well. Waiting for it though, McGlynn sends it down a towards half forward. The bounce stifled there well by Jack across the body. Well played by Broughton, tracks the football just outside the defensive 50. He's got it now. In fact, earlier it may have been, I was going to say, Riscatelli. He was involved. Riscatelli came in to help Broughton. They look a little alike, and the ball's out of bounds. And their numbers aren't too dissimilar either, Dennis. So the Suns. Needing a strong second quarter here against... Uh, have got Ablett on Kennedy. I think it's just the stoppages. I think uh, Kennedy is trying to just to get to Ablett the stoppages. Thereafter, I think they'll play their own game. Play it short. We can just see what's happening off the bully. I think Hunt is trying to play on Kennedy from the Suns' point of view, and McGlynn is trying to play on Ablett. But I think, uh, again, Kennedy has ch chosen just to get his body against Ablett to try and prevent that uh, clearance Ablett's so good at. So Smith, and here is Ablett chasing it down. He had seven disposals in the opening term, but he didn't, he didn't really hurt the Swans. No, they weren't, they weren't effective, constructive ones. They were mostly rushed, hurried, three kicks, four handballs. I mean, like all players, you want Ablett to be kicking the ball. Uh, the ability for to get into space, and because he's such a good, creative kick. So Smith, who's done very well, Derek's we know is a terrific toiler, and he wins that to Kennedy. Hunt was the first to put the tackle on, and then Smith tackling as well, and a ball up. So this is a bit how the first quarter started. It was tight early, hard to get a goal. Smith doing very well. 15 hitouts now with that one down to Ablett. He couldn't get up much momentum there. He was standing virtually at Smith's feet. Tackled immediately. The ball arrived. Holding the footy. No attempt, the Heard the umpire. No attempt. Well, oh, that's been a consistent call this afternoon. McGlynn drives it inside the forward 50. Tippett came at it strongly. In front of the pack, Jack. A real chance now. Gets it off. Franklin open goal. He's got two. We see the marking contest there. Fantastic uh, front and centre crumbing by by Jack. He's he's really he's a really good little player. He's playing mainly forward today, not so much their centre square rotation. Again, Franklin's ability to get clear at ground level gets him the goal. So Buddy with a couple. I reckon May would have thought to himself, why don't you kick it, Jack? I don't want another goal against me. He's been a bit stiff, May. And, and in the one-on-ones, he's done so well, hasn't he? Well, he's fine he? in the marking contest, but that's the thing we know about Franklin. It's his ability to play as that big half forward running flanker player that makes him so special. It's not a great kick to Hunt. But Sorry to pick that word, Bruce. But no, he, no. He's God. unique. <laughs> Let's go unique. He's very unique because he, uh, his mark has been really good the last month, Franklin, but he's, it's his ground level. His and ground level agility for a guy of his size has been his great strength. And Lee, he's confidence up. He's kicked a couple, hasn't he? I yeah, mean, he's he's yeah. feeling really good at the moment. Swallow, not a great kick. 
Suns just need to really show something here. When Hawthorne came up here, we know early in the year when they were in good form and really did a job on them. And at the moment, Sydney have got them just where they want them. It's taken them a little while, but they have. And Hannah Bree with a neat kick forward. Mark not taken by Kennedy and Hunt and a boundary throw in. One of the things that the Swans midfield, I don't think they defend as well as the Swans midfield does. They're good on F offense, but I think that's what so impresses about your Hanbury's and your Jacks and Kennedy's McVeigh's. They are, they are really good defensive midfielders as well. Wide of the pack, head down, Russell. Going hard after the football, Hanabry. It rolls out the back. Jack again heard the voice, went to Melcheski. Melcheski around the corner. Franklin had it, lost it. Stepping out of bounds is May. Interesting that Smith is really having a good afternoon in the ruck. We've seen a lot of Derek's recently. His form has been outstanding. Admittedly, coming off a low base, but this afternoon he's finding Smith as difficult as he struck this season. This time it's Reed. Again, Smith gets first hand of the footy down to Ablett. Ablett into Mines pulled the kick. It comes off the outside of the boot and just bounces harmlessly across the boundary line. So the pressure stays on the defending Suns here. Well, that point you make, though, he's been good in the ruck, Smith, but the relationship between hit-outs and who clears the ball at the ground level is, again, not there today. Swan's pretty much even, but certainly in the clearances, but in the hit-outs. She's a bit stiff there, Smith, really I think. Good. Sorry, Lee. Kennedy and Ablett, here we go together. Ablett had a fair bit of him there, but uh, no free kick was it out. Just on Ablett, Lee, nine disposals, only at 33% efficiency so Yeah, far. well, he's been under pressure every time he's got, the, he's got the ball, having to a lot of quick handballs. He's laid five tackles, Ablett, so yeah, far. Yeah, no, he's working hard. No, he's working hard. So just stuck a bit the Suns here in this spot, aren't they? They just can't get any flow at the moment. Hunt, loose ball back, and Bird, Kennedy... And Hannah Bree, good tackle hunt, but Hannah Bree off a step. Another of those left footers getting it forward. McKenzie got enough on it. Goods almost bashing through. Little toe poke. Goods again to Bird. Was it in the back? Well, maybe not. And then well done, Cameron. Gets it out to Riscatelli. Back to Cameron. Asked a lot of Day. Day back to McVeigh. Sydney worrying them out of it. Rampy went without it. Cameron and Malcheski. Which he Cameron did well again there, the youngster. And then down the line. Was it out of play? It's a free kick down. Free kick down. Yeah. Yeah. Well done, young Cameron, eh? He was terrific twice, wasn't he? Now, Bennett's got the football. In fact, they're calling Lynch back. There's the late hit. Nothing sinister in it. He'll so. be careful it's not sinister because if the shoulder goes high and makes head contact, you, you're in trouble. Certain for that look body to body, so that's fine. I thought that until two weeks ago. <laughs> now we're not sure. <laughs> Short comes to May. I'll take that back. I think if you make high contact with your shoulder, you're in trouble. Adam's good. Move it on. Play on. Apparently. That was the word from the tribunal. <laughs> May comes away and drives it long, demanding a lot of Russell, who comes up and takes the juggled mark. Now peeling off is Smith. A bit too nimble for Derricks. The kick. Holds him up slightly, but good enough to take the mark. Wheels around, wants a quick delivery inside the forward line. Almost in front, Riscatelli. It was a mark, wasn't yeah. it? To Ablett. Ablett's away. Sharp angle in two minds. Smothered off the boot. Brilliantly done by Shaw. And across the line it goes. Well, Riscatelli is asking the question, why wasn't it a mark? It certainly came down with it. The umpire obviously adjudicated to have been touched by the Swans player first. So Shaw to himself, some great defensive work a moment ago from the Swans, but it did look a mark. Reed on the up, well done. Grundy back to Shaw. Shaw's been really good. McGlynn, Bennell trying to run him down. Now he's quick, Bennell. Still took hold. <laughs> McGlynn played that well. Released the ball with a handball and then just got that touch from Bennell to hold him up and uh, got a, maybe a ticky touch would one, but it was paid. So McGlynn off half back. McVeigh is the first to run hard for him. And then McGlynn goes with a neat looking kick and strong mark taken by Tippett. So, first disposal coming up for the big forward. He's been in really good form in his three matches so far. He sets it up. Franklin and May. Good contest again. May held his ground. Bird on the up. McKenzie cuts it off. Can they get some bounce off half back? Bennell. Two men alongside him, but he just timed his run nicely and marks about five metres in from the boundary. Centering ball, Dixon wants to go, looks downfield, nothing much there. 
It's three on two inside the forward 50. Has to go. Gives it to Matera. Short one is on. Lynch takes the mark. He's a good hard-working forward as Lynch. Comes across the ground. Well, that was precise. Over the head of Melcheski. And sandwiched in front of another defender, who I think was Bird. Benel took the mark. Well, McKenzie would actually get it through post high, but uh, Benel's going to have a go. He's going to have to have a 60-metre carry. A uh, good, good play. Set up. It's only, it's only going to be about five metres closer, but when you're talking about the difference between that 50, 55 metres, I mean, every player really can kick 50 metres. only a question of whether they can kick it accurate, but as soon as you get that extra five metres, then you're really stretching for distance. Please don't run through the mark. You know you're going well if you can deceive a statue, and Bennell just did. <laughs> exactly. Russell, kick is on the way. Oh, lovely finish. Well worked by the Suns. So here's the Franklin hip and shoulder. Any worries, Lee? Well, the guy got up OK, so but there was a little bit of high contact, but not sure if there was enough high contact to, uh, to make it uh, a report. So Dixon pressed here, but to McGlynn and McGlynn. Shrugging off an Ablett tackle, gets it inside forward 50. The next goal's big in this match. Prestia just couldn't keep it. Cunningham down low. And then well done by Tipper getting it out to Kennedy. Now McGlynn having that shot and uh, behind. You feel it, if the Suns can get the next one, then they're in a position where they can strike. But if Sydney can maintain a 3-4 goal advantage, they're going to take some catching, aren't they? That was a big miss, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah. What do they say? Every miss makes somebody happy. Well, the Suns were happy there as the ball comes out. Two players fell to ground. The small man was left to take the mark. Down with Derricks and Dixon. And Shaw beat nobody but took the mark in a dangerous situation. Sends it in looking for the leading player. But Kolejasny is getting the free kick. The third man in the queue took his arms. Kolejasny goes across the ground. Thompson, fourth and the best and fairest last season. Agile big man, deceptive with his size. He drives wide, but only as far as Richards. Full chested, takes the mark. In good hands now, Malcheski goes back to half forward, slipping away from his marker is McVeigh. He's about 75 metres out, McVeigh. Leading player is Kennedy, and that's a good grab. That ball was low and hard. And Kennedy took it in the one safe grab. He likes getting into the forward line and making himself a target. Uh, Kennedy, obviously, they've got plenty of other targets in there, but he's always going to pick up a more medium-sized defender, not so good on the lead, necessarily. 11th possession. It's working back nicely, too. That's a brilliant kick. <laughs> Just on that point, uh, Lee, interesting one with Dennis. So no one behind the line yeah. charging well, at this. You'd, you'd like to have your ruck. I don't know whether Sam uh, Smith was down there or Dixon at that mm. point, but... Uh, and, and, and yes, if you can get a real jump on the goal line, that's what you're trying to set up defensively. And the Swans get a bit of a jump again here. O'Meara out of the centre. 5-11 before today, by the way, Kennedy, this season. So that was a great finish, wasn't it? Shaw, who set up so much from the back, along with Malcheski. They've been a real thorn, haven't they? And still running and running and running oh. and running. I reckon running too far. And then coughing it up, but not 15. So Risk and Tully put in a funny old spot. Broughton's handball. And then... Kick from Stanley, Prestia, kick inside, Matera, clever mark actually in the end, he's caught underneath it and uh, had to use his skill, that's a kick to Ablett, a half a kick, so not a great entry, but they do get a stoppage in the forward 50 here. When you get that, that rebound from midfield, really, if you think your way through, because the defence is completely out of position, uh, but Matera just a little bit... A little didn't quite have enough patience to allow someone to get into space. Boundary throw in. Dixon looking for clean possession. Comes to Ablett. Prestia slipped. Cost him dearly. McGlynn comes away. Hooks it to space. This will be interesting. Coming across on the angle is Broughton. Controls it well. Gets a hand pass deep to Stanley. Lays it off to May. Broughton kept coming. 70 metres from goal. Goes close to the 50. Up was Riscatelli. Knocked away by Parker. In trouble, McVeigh. Got boot to ball. Well done, Parker. Slips it to Rampy. Beats the despairing tackle coming from Matera. Now a hand pass and they're away. Jack gave it across to support McGlynn. 
Kennedy stands up in a tackle. Good pressure from the Suns, but eventually Jenna finds some time. And then kicks Franklin on the lead there. I mean, he wasn't bursting on the lead, but he got to the front spot. Taken by Harbrow. Important ball here. Well done at the back by Richards. It was a tough one for Matera. Russell to get down low. Got to keep their composure here, the Suns. Does get a kick away. Chasing Swallow. Well Ooh. done, Reed. Good contest. A bit of a bash and crash. Well, Matera down low. Ball not out yet. Also, Dixon in there with his big body and a ball up. So, terrific contest. But the Suns need the next goal. Swallow. Gee, he doesn't take a backward step, no, does he? No. Fantastic attack on the football here. And Reed, Kennedy. Both of the brothers with star players going around in the AFL. Themselves stars as well. Hanabry on his back did nicely. Rampy couldn't take it with him. Down goes Prestia. Wedge between Jack over the top and Prestia and the umpire will ball it up. Boys, the Suns seem really reluctant to kick long to a, to a long target this stage. They're just a third in the comp for long kicks and they're only had it in 12 today. As Ablett, Broughton was the man with the football before that throw up. Missed by Richards coming through his Lynch. Heard the voice, gives it to Ablett, throws as the umpire. So Sydney free kick. We'll go to Richards. Even then, though, Ablett could have kicked a long and deep penetrating kick. Grundy, leaders in the clear. It's dangerous given the sort of time of the football. Uh, not much happening for him. Hanabry takes off now. He'll bypass Hanabry and go to Reed. That's his intention. Reed gets a kind bounce as it bounces up on the second occasion. The kick not particularly good though. Bounces in front of Franklin out of bounds. But they've been able to get it from that, you know, back 50 to the forward 50, haven't they? In a hurry. It's held in well the, sw uh, the uh, Suns for the last, yep. the last minute or so. They, they, they just their defensive pressure is really good to lock it in. Two minds. I reckon Jude's hit on the head. Oh, goods, well done from Tippett. Archer's easy. Oh, that's oh. a ball. Oh. Gee, Goodsy, how long have you been playing for? Oh. Not sure what he was doing then. And 50 metres against Tippett. What a great tackle. It was brilliant. But <laughs> <laughs> was he trying to throw yeah, the ball onto his boot? Up. Because I don't think he just... Let's have a look at this. What was he thinking? Oh, he was bouncing it, wasn't he? I'm not sure. He was being well, held by the jump. I don't, know. I don't think he was trying to just get it on his boot. Maybe that was... Uh, you wouldn't think a jumper tackle could no. stop him, would you? No. That's no. some grip. No. 337th game, I think, so you learn something every day. So so the Suns here with a, a chance. But their forward entries have been yes, one, two lines, is, haven't they? Uh, they haven't been they're, they're inaccurate, 2 7, but at the same time, the Swans' defence has, uh, has been pretty comfortable. And, and here's an example. I mean, Russell just making a, a, a meal of that. So. Well done by Amira to Bennell. Now, Harbrow's on the wrong side, but he gets some space. And that going and missing. Wow. It's like a jigsaw that they haven't quite worked out at the moment. Now, here's good. He definitely bounces, I think. Here, look. Boom. Yep. <laughs> Can't do that. He was totally surprised. Thought he was playing basketball. Rampy, that's a lovely kick in. Richards didn't have to break stride. Bounds around the outer side. Long ball to space. Turns everybody around. Broughton's coming across on the angle. He'll get there first. Good shepherd came from Cameron. The hand pass was good. Russell gets it back to Broughton. He's having a good game. Goes down towards half forward. Day dragged down by Richards. Day goes again. Burrowing in is McVeigh. She's a hard worker. And umpire Chamberlain wants it. It's a poor kick today, though. It really had to hit him on the chest, and uh, they were in then, the Suns. Yeah, McVeigh, terrific. So he mirrored the third man up. Hannah Bree, good hands. Gets to Parker, gets to Laidler on the wrong side for him. Bouncing ball, and here is McVeigh in a pretty dangerous position now. And then checks sides. Gee, that... What a great kick, was it? I mean... Didn't have the distance in Thompson. Colin Jasny taking his time. Well played, though, and a good kick to Prestia. Now an opportunity. Hunt on a lead, waited for it, and well done by Rampy, cutting it off. I think with those lackluster kicks from Broughton and McVeigh, they'd had that foot race on the outer side. Yeah, I think outside. they were gone. Yeah, yeah. they were both connected. So a boundary throw in. Gee, Rampy and Smith have been good. They've been unheld as those uh, smaller part of the 
Swan's defence, but both those players have been really solid. Smith and Derricks in from the side missing the football was Parker. Falls obligingly from the Glen, who sends it towards half forward. And Broughton, well, he's attracting the football. He's had enough. He sends it back deep. Here's Thompson on the break is Cameron. Cameron should get it. Lays it off to the long kicking McKenzie. Nobody on for him and they're not coming. Bennell, well, that would have been an impossible kick. A very strange lead as the ball goes up on the bounce to half forward. Now Bennell comes into the play after Hunt went down on the half volley. Pulled back over the head of Matera. Matera, feisty, goes back after the football. Two feisty customers on a collision course. Matera wins the free kick against Hanabry to space, asking something of Ablett. He marked it. Well, he didn't take it cleanly, but he didn't expect the ball to get that far, I don't think. Somehow it squeezed in between the swan in front and the swan pursuing Ablett. So Ablett had the courage to take it. Looked like Smith was just going to mark the footy, but just over the fingertips, Ablett just judged it better. Gutsy. Turned around and McGlynn was bearing down, oblivious to that. Such an important kick, this one. Ablett doesn't miss. Heartbeat gets stronger for the Suns approaching half time. Well, a good finish. I mean, he's uh, 21 goals three this year, Ablett. No, yeah, he's, he's, uh, a, beautiful, he's a beautiful kick. Beautiful nine two from set shots, Lisa. Yeah, beautiful finish. Dennis is right. There is a real pulse here. I mean, back to 14 points. They've certainly had enough of the play in the last 15 minutes. Smith, Ablett, little handball, O'Meara. Good smother from McGlynn, and then McGlynn rode it well, and then Derricks, and then a wobbly one forward. Franklin worked out of it by May. McKenzie getting back. Tippett worked out of it. Oh, well done, Hanabry. Cunningham gets a goal of it. Not sure you want to be known for it, but Derricks is the master of the chaos ball. <laughs> Kicked it in there, Ooh, bouncing everywhere, and that was terrific by Hanabry, wasn't it? Yep. So, back to 20. And does their good work. Ablett's mark. Prestia. Keen. Sends it down. Oh, tough forward. Oh, going back with courage. Down and slow to get up out there is the Sydney defender. Smith, Smith, Smith. In the meantime, the ball goes out towards the boundary. Charging up is Cunningham. It bounces off his chest. He was with Collar Jasney. And we'll have a throw in. So, Smith... And Lynch colliding in midair, and the smaller man came <laughs> off worse for wear. Yeah, he's thinking, well, he, he went back with the fly to the ball as you must, but uh, you just don't know. You haven't got eyes in the back of your head, and the pack just crunched him from behind. Smith, Derek's reaches over the top. Riscatelli, Ablett, now Prestia drives it back inside the forward 50. In from the side, Rampy did well. Off hands though, Stanley looking for a way out, decides to kick it instead, virtually straight up in the air. They come from all directions. Bounce, favoured McVeigh, close to the boundary line. Now a chance for Rampy, does nicely, loops a hand pass over the top. The dangerous, dangerous Hanabry comes up to the wing, and Jenna takes the mark. She well played there. Rampy was good as well, Dan. So down the line to Kennedy. Smith on the mark. So deep into this first half now, we've been sitting on 20 points on and off for a fair while, haven't we? Just been holding them at bay, the Swan. So again, next goal important. Tippett did well. Jack, ball coming out. Parker with some pace here against Riscatelli. Tippett trying to get down low. Thompson, Tippett, ball not out, not out, not out, not out. Still there. And a ball up. Thank you. So... Talked a lot about the fact that Thompson and May generally have done pretty well in the one-on-ones. It's a big job all day, though. Amira and Swallow to Ablett. And then Ablett just controlled it, but not sure if it's going to come off. Grundy kept the ball in. Back to Kennedy. Quick hands, McGlynn. 55 metres out. Beautiful finish. Cunningham takes the mark. 35 metres from goal. He's booted two. It's a live wire, and obviously this is his time to cover niche in this powerful Swans lineup. He's not missing it. We'd like him from here on exposed form this afternoon, directly in front. Kick is on the way, splits the middle.
Well, the kick came across to Hutt Cunningham from Ben McLean, and he's having some sort of quarter. He's had 11 disposals, six of them contested, and six clearances. So he's having a huge quarter. Gee, they are impressive numbers, aren't they? So he's from that... trying to take the Ablett match up too. So that's a pretty good contest. Ablett been pretty good, but so's McGlynn. Smith getting his hands. Russell pressed here. Ablett now. I wonder if he can go for goal. I think he has gone for goal and not quite. But you feel like he is building Ablett a little bit, Lee, don't no, you? No, no, he's in the game. He just, he just hasn't been able to be uh, to, to get as much out of his disposals as we often see. But he's certainly working hard and he's uh, gradually getting space. So good to McVeigh. Oh. Up to 17 possessions now, Gary Ablett. That's McVeigh. Grundy. Squares the ball. Rampy. Another emerging player, Rampy, drives it up towards the wing. Hanabry on the lead over the top. Ablett, well played, Hanabry. He's sort of set a trap there. He's the third man in the queue, gathers the football, feeds it over the top. But sure is run down by Prestia. Amazingly, got boot to ball. Dixon slow to go and just pushes it across the boundary line. Hanabry knew he was under the ball. Gee, a little bit of swan dive, eh, from the from a son. <laughs> so boundary throw in. Derricks and Smith. Smith gets an arm free, knocks it straight to McVeigh, though. Dancing his way through the oncoming traffic there and doing nicely was Jetta. Gave it to McGlynn. Such a turn from him. And there's a strong mark in defence taken by McKenzie. It's stuck. Good effort. He's been able to get that man in front of Tippett and uh, Franklin a fair bit today. It was Colin Jasney before, and that time it was McKenzie. So hanging on hard here. Colin Jasney oh. out wide. Gets to Thompson. In board to Matera. They need a late goal here, the Suns. Sydney with a pretty comfortable lead, considering it's hold, Sam, hold. been a pretty even hold. match in a lot of the game, except for that scoreboard. Back they go again. Trying to build. Nothing much gain. They haven't really been able to create here. Now, Cameron probably needed to lead a bit quicker and a bit harder. <laughs> That's a good kick. And Harbrow. <laughs> now, the next kick. Can they create some run here? Sydney getting some numbers back. Good kick, good lead. Scatelli. So what's up in front? Came into this match, Lee, thinking big tall forwards for both teams. We haven't seen too many big marks by either no, team no, forward. That, uh, the big defenders have uh, been on top in uh, in the aerial contest. From both ends, haven't they? Yep, yep, both groups. And there's Tippett, who's had such a quiet afternoon. So 12 goals in three matches prior to today, this season. Averaged over three in his career at Sydney. Clock is down to 50 seconds now, remaining in the opening half. Boundary throw in. Either side could kick a goal, but for its position would favour the Suns. Brilliant by Smith. Harbrow ran into a dead end. Bird was waiting for him. I think Bird's going to get a free kick. Incorrect disposal. Uh, on a collision course, and the ball came squirting out. But Bird's the beneficiary. Still time to go the other way in a score. 35 seconds. There's Smith. He's recovered from that collision with Lynch. Just outside the defensive 50. Rampy. Now, Bird is breaking for him. Goods is out there as well. Takes quite a bit off the kick. It was touched. Knocked across the line by Lynch. He's got plenty of courage, Lynch. Just goes back. He's a big fellow, but still, as they say in professional wrestling, the pain is real. Doesn't matter how big you are. <laughs> Uh, he's uh, combative for sure, and he's looked likely a couple of times today. He hasn't been able to hit the board. Smith and Derricks, free kick to Smith. O'Meara, is the advantage given? It is, and heard the up Russell. They need a mark. Day underneath in the back, free kick. But the time, the problem now. And Day, like McKenzie's going to have a shot from a similar margin after the siren. Well, he's got a good kick, Day, but I reckon he's... Four or five metres, maybe too far out here. We saw McKenzie in the opening term. Day hasn't had too much practice today either, Bruce. Just no. the one. He's a heck of an athlete. He is a good long kick. But this would be something. Ooh. 
not going to register a score. So half time here at Metricon. Been a really fascinating first half, but uh, the informed Swans have got a pretty handy break, haven't they? They've been more accurate on the board. Half time here. It's the Suns 27 against the Swans 52. So good effort there by Sydney just to hold the Suns at bay. And a lot of the ball. Malczewski and Shaw off half-back. Ablett, pretty good first half. I mean, he's kicked a, a goal, he missed a long shot, he's had 17 disposals. But the midfield for Sydney have been really good. I mean, McGlynn, a terrific uh, first half. McVeigh's been very good as well. There is Ablett. Let's go down to Jude Bolton, who's with Jared McVeigh. Jared, you must be really pleased with the amount of ball the midfield's won around the stoppages. Yeah, look, it's been good. Um, you know, a few of their buyers are going forward, pressure and that. We haven't kept an eye on them, so that, you know, probably disappointing. But, you know, they're probably one of the best starting teams in the comp, so it's, you know, it's good to get a good uh, first half in. And just the pressure around the footy as well, plus 11 in tackles as well. Yeah, that's a good sign. You know, when you're still up and you're, you know, you're ahead in the contested ball and tackles, you know, that's what we really want out of the game. Good luck in the second half. Thanks, mate. Coming up at half time on Sunday afternoon football, we review the first half of footy. And I tell you what. And get a personal insight into Dion Prestia from a group of people influential on his junior football career. He really caught the imagination and the eye of, I guess, the whole 17 clubs at that time. Not the Prestia runs through the corridor, hits the trigger, pulls it, goes by. Time on the Gold Coast, and the Sydney Swans lead by 25 points after they led by 15 at quarter time. Interesting affair so far. You can see the goal kickers and the possession winners. Gary Ablett, 17, has been industrious. McGlynn also 17. And they've played, certainly in the second term, a lot of football on each other. Hanabry started well. Cunningham has been dynamite on the forward line. Bigger than the big names. He's booted three goals so far, Lee. But the Suns are still in touch. Well, they are. They've had the scoring shots. I mean, particularly early in the game, they missed. They were three, three behinds before they scored a goal. So they didn't get that pressure on the sw on the Swans and the morale boost for themselves by, by kicking accurately. So that means they've got a fair deficit to make up. But I think they're in the game, no yep. doubt about that. Just watching the Swans early, Nick Malczewski is so important to them, isn't he, across half-back? Well, he's such a good kick. I mean, he and Rish Shaw are their bounces off half-back, and he's such a penetrating left-foot kick, uh, Nick Malczewski, that when he gets the ball, uh, He'll, he'll carry it for 20 metres and normally then he'll kick it 60 metres uh, upfield. So again, he was very good, particularly early in the game. They seemed to shut him down a little bit, the Suns, in the second quarter. He didn't get quite the same bounce. But uh, yeah, he uh, both defences, in a way, even though there's been a reasonable amount of scoring, I think both defences have played quite well. But certainly he's the real runner off halfback that's setting up the, the play for the Swans. You're talking about scoring shots. They did miss some early, particularly ones they could have kicked the Suns. Well, you've got to take your shots. I mean, first of all, you've got to get them. I mean, that's a long shot. Yeah. And if you're going to have a lot of long shots or a lot of angled shots, we're well, going to kick a lot, of, a lot of long behinds. So, so a lot of them are rushed, but it's the, and even a couple of them were, were actually out of bounds. But they're the ones that you have to nail, that 45-degree uh, angle, 30-metre shot. They're, they're the ones that the Swans, uh, the Suns blew uh, that really didn't allow them to, uh, to put maximum pressure back onto the visiting team. Got to talk about the bump too, you know that, don't you? The grey area is about to <laughs> loom. Uh, Buddy Franklin involved this time. Well, he has been known over his career to bump high. And, and this is an interesting one. I mean, he, it was a slight bump. It was a downfield bump. Now, if his shoulder hits in the head, that... Wasn't that before good oh, Selwood? I'm not quite sure where that's... Kramer since. versus I, Kramer. I think a month ago there was a little... Bill, that's high contact. So well, if that is high contact, then he's in trouble. It might be low impact. But uh, I don't know, it does look like it's high contact, well, but I'm a, little, I'm a little bit confused the last month because there's been a bit of leniency well, on the high up. contact. Cameron got up and played off. He wasn't off. hurt. He wasn't, he wasn't hurt. hurt as badly yeah. as Selwood was, was he? No, no, he I certainly wasn't think. hurt, but that'll be, that'll be, I'm, again, I'm not sure, Dennis. A, a month me. ago, I would think he might have been just you know, a minor penalty, but yeah. you know, remember, if it's negligent, he's guilty. Yeah, and if it's accidental, you get off. I don't know whether you could say that was accidental high contact. Easy for me to say it didn't hurt <laughs> up here. The Swans by 25 coming up shortly. We'll spend some time with Dion Prestia.